Greetings and welcome everyone. This lesson has been prepared for grade 10 agricultural sciences learners. So today we will be discussing um, agricultural resources and just to say it upfront, this, as much as this lesson has been prepared for learners, but I think that even parents as well as siblings in lower grades, they will learn a thing or two. So feel free to invite your parents, feel free to invite your siblings as you are learning uh, with me. So if you want to follow along on your textbook, you will find this from page 100 to page um, 105. So if you do have a textbook, a agricultural sciences textbook, any textbook, um, just bring it along, have a pen and paper so that you can take out, um, take down some notes. So yeah, feel free to pause and rewind um, whenever you want to. So we have quite a number of resources and we need these resources for different purposes. We use diff resources in almost everything we do as humans. Uh, for instance, we need water for hydration, we need water for domestic purposes, we need water also for recreational purposes, we need oil for fuel, we need forests, we need rocks, we need minerals, we need soils in order to plant our crops, we need animals which provide us with food, um, they provide us with meat, they provide us with milk and other products. So. For us to understand different types of agricultural resources, we first need to understand natural resources. So now when you talk of natural resources, we are talking about resources that can be found in the natural environment. So these are the primary resources. They can either be renewable or non-renewable. We are talking about sunlight, we are talking about water, we are talking about air, we are talking about land, we are talking about animals, plants, we talk of coal, we talk of um, oil, we are talking about uh, petroleum. Um, then when it comes to agricultural resources now, these can also be grouped into primary resources as well as secondary resources. As mentioned in the previous slide, um, natural resources are grouped into two. They are grouped into renewable resources as well as non-renewable resources. Now, when we talk of renewable resources, we are talking about res resources that can be replaced naturally in a short period of time once they are used up. Now, these are solar, um, these are wind, this is water, this is biomass. Then we've got non-renewable resources. Now these are resources that cannot be replaced in a short period of time. Here we're talking about coal, here we're talking about oil, we're talking about gases, we're talking about stones. So they say, if you ate today, thank a farmer. And I must say I agree with that uh, because farmers use agricultural resources in order to produce um, agricultural products of which um, these are resources that we need every day. These are the products that we need every day. So agricultural, re agricultural resources can be divided into two categories, two broad categories. Now these are primary and secondary resources. Now when we talk of primary resources, these are resources that come from nature but resources that are made by people from primary resources are then called secondary resources. So for example, we need soil. Farmers need soil in order to plant the crops. And these crops uh, or plants, they require water in order to grow. And the plants also use sunlight, they use water, they use carbon dioxide to make carbohydrates and this process is called photosynthesis. So we now need these carbohydrates that are produced by the plants in order to stay healthy, you know? And also most importantly, one of the primary resources that is needed are, are human beings. As much as they turn primary resources into secondary resources, but in a farm, 
humans or people, they play a vital role to any farming enterprise. They drive tractors, they harvest the crops, they plant the crops, and so on and so forth. We also need animals, we need plants, we need seeds. Then when it comes to secondary resources, um, the, uh, the tractors that we spoke about that are driven by human beings, they need fuel, they need either petrol or diesel, the cars, that the farmers um, use, they need fuel. Also, we need machinery in a farm. We need tractors, we need planters, we need harvesters, um, and so on. And these play a very important role. And one, one other important secondary resource is a fertilizer. So now we need fertilizers so that we can enrich our soils with nutrients so because when when the nutrients in the soil the the the, the natural um, nutrients are, are depleted then a farmer will add a fertilizer to ensure that there is a proper growth for the crops and also we need um, pesticides and herbicides now Farmers would use um, these um, to get rid of insects that may damage their crops or even diseases that, damage, that destroy the crops as well. So yes, these are different types of um, agricultural resources, both primary as well as secondary, and they are important. We're probably asking ourselves, why are we discussing natural resources? What's the need? And why are we too concerned about natural as well as agricultural resources? The answer to that is there is a growing population and a growing population that is putting pressure on natural resources. Now, the world population is growing by approximately 74 million people per year. And when you look at South Africa as a country, in 2002, the population was about 43 million. And, but by 2010, the population had increased by 49.9 million. That is close to um, 50 million. Now, this means that um, our annual population growth rate in South Africa is between 2% and 2.5% like adding about 750,000 to 1 million people to our population every year. So this is concerning and everyone needs to be concerned about this. So if primary and secondary resources are used up faster than they can be replaced, um, it means they will be exhausted but if, in the meantime, we need to provide food for this increasing population. So therefore, we need to conserve our resources. We need to treat our resources with care. We need to um, treat our resources and use our resources with caution. So now, one, one will ask, then before we treat these resources sustainably before we treat them with care how how are they um, depleted how do they get depleted how are these natural resources um, get used up so the, there are various ways um, in which the natural resources can be depleted and one of them is deforestation when we cut down trees and we do not plant more trees, that would make the resources to, de to be depleted. And also when the livestock overgraze in a certain felt, then that means uh, that um, a felt will be used up. And also if we employ poor farming techniques or practices, which can lead to soil degradation and also Pollution is one of, of the ways, um, soil and water pollution. 
um, is one of the of, of the ways that can deplete natural resources therefore we need to 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 treat these resources we need to avoid we need to avoid um, doing all those things that will make our resources to to be depleted so the best way for us to protect and conserve these natural resources is to ensure that there is a sustainable use of these natural resources in agriculture and now how do we do that we ensure or farmers ensure like they adopt more sustainable farming methods uh, they adopt more sustainable farming techniques as well as um, approaches, sustainable approaches such as organic farming. And now how do we th do this? We make sure that we farm crops and um, raise animals which are suitable for that farm, the conditions of the farm. We protect um, the soil quality by not growing too many plants or too many crops in the same soil. Um, and also we promote or apply um, crop rotation, we apply rotational grazing, we also avoid monoculture. And the other important thing is to make sure that we use less pesticides as well as um, less herbicides and also use natural fertilizers, um, organic fertilizers such as manure. Now this will help to prevent soil damage and also we use water very carefully. So just to, to summarize what we have discussed, um, we, we said that natural resources uh, resources such as soil, air, water and sunlight. Now these resources come from nature and those that come from nature are called primary resources and resources which are made by people are called secondary resources. Now the renewable resources are those resources that can be replaced easily. Now that means once they, um, they are used up they can be replaced easily, naturally, in a short period of time. Then we have non-renewable resources which cannot be easily replaced and may take um, years to do so. Then um, the sustainable, sustainable agriculture is a way of farming which protects um, natural resources. So we need to ensure that we promote sustainable agriculture. We need to ensure that we promote the sustainable farming techniques. So that's it from me. Thank you very much for joining me today. See you on our next lesson. Thank you. Bye.